NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden wants to apply for asylum in Russia until he can be guaranteed safe transit to Latin America. This information comes from Tanya Lakshina of Human Rights Watch, who met with Snowden in the transit zone of Moscow's Sheremetyevo Airport today. Bolivia, Venezuela, and Nicaragua have all offered Snowden asylum as well, but it's nearly impossible for Snowden to get to those places without crossing the U.S. or a Western ally's airspace. A human rights watch went and met with him for about 25 minutes. Uh, they came with a message from the U.S. ambassador to Russia who said, uh, just wanted to let you know, Ed, you broke the law and we don't consider you a whistleblower. WikiLeaks is using this as further proof that uh, he's a refugee. And so what he says in, in uh, his statement is, I, I need, I've, I'm grateful for the help I've received from these countries, including Russia, and I need asylum from Russia so that I can get to Latin America. Here uh, in HuffPost DC here, we were wondering, what has he been eating? He's living in an airport. <laughs> is, he, is he eating Russian Sbarro every day? Let's say day? lots of Cinnabons. I think there's a big uh, and an awesome bread line. Right. Uh, sounds like a, a miserable existence he's had. Uh, I don't think he's living large in that airport. Uh, but we, you know, we don't know what will happen. It's, it's uh, Russia might help him, might not. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty odd and circuitous path he has to take, though, to get to where he needs to go because you can't cross any U.S. or Western allies' airspace. So he literally has to circle the globe uh, and find safe havens. It's a tough thing, man.